This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> Okay, I can remember the first time that I saw Eric Johnson and heard Eric Johnson would have been on G3 with Joe Satriani and I think maybe Steve Vai. Um, and there was this other guy that showed up playing uh, a 335, right? And a strat sometimes. And the tune that really stuck out to me is Manhattan. I think that probably is my favorite Eric Johnson tune nearly. And it's got this really cool lick in the first solo. Um, which is really tricky and it's something that I'm working on at the moment. So I want to kind of sh just share, uh, you know, how I'm trying to play this lick and some maybe tips or whatever. Um, tabs and backing tracks for my stuff go up on Patreon. Um, and it's also what helps me to keep being able to make these kind of little lesson videos. I hope they're slightly helpful. If you wanted to like and subscribe, you could. On with it. So the lick and this song. <laughs> Uh, I would suggest is in kind of F sharp or G flat major or E flat minor. So an easy way to think about this really would be like E minor, but one fret below. Probably would be how I would think about it. Now, the lick, uh, we're going to start up here on the 18th fret. And this is going to be entirely pentatonic based. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of, I think, just break it down in the, the bite-sized chunks that I'm thinking of it as, as. So that's my first one, my first little bite. We kind of slide up to the fret 18. And then up the pentatonic scale. So 16th fret, 19th fret, 16th fret. And then up to the 21st. After that, we get this. So, two on this kind of, so 18 to 16 twice. Like that. And then we come down to the 19th fret and we do that same kind of thing again where we're going 19, 16, 19, 16, twice. Okay. And then down, then 18 to 15. So that's kind of our first two chunks. And then we're gonna come back up the pentatonic scale, the 16th fret, down, and come all the way down the pentatonic scale to the 18th fret here. So 16, 18, 15, 18, 16, 18. And so you think of that as like your third bite. Notice that all of this is alternate picked strictly as well. Finding that difficult, there is an alternate fingering that you could try. Instead of here using your middle finger in this position, you could switch to so instead that little descending figure you change to here. So starting on the 16th fret, falling onto the 14th fret on the B string instead of the 18th fret on the G string, so it would look like this. Right? I don't 
don't know if I find that easier. It means there's slightly less uh, of a jump on the picking hand. Both are possible, but I think maybe you might find one more comfortable than the other. And then we're going to come down here with a position shift. And like that. So 14, 15, 13, 16, and then back up to 13, 16, 13, 16, 13. And I think like that. Four. Something like that. So you could either slide like that from 13 to 11 and continue. Or like that. I don't know, whichever feels more natural to you. So, all together. cool um, thing but it's super hard to get it up to the the level of speed needed so the only thing that I can suggest for this really is to kind of sit diligently with a metronome and to try and build up the speed um, in terms of placing it timing wise what I'm doing is putting my metronome at double speed so kind of if we have it at 150 our target speed will be 102 bpm or 204 i'm going to show you how i'm counting it one two three four one two three four one two three one two three Like that, and so slower we could do it. Uh, so this is like half speed. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the other sort of thing I'm doing with this is just changing into different keys so that I can practice it at different tempos in different tunes. So, for instance, if I wanted to play it in G major, I'd just move it up a fret. Three, four. If I wanted to play it in F major, it's coming down a fret. Four, one, two. you know just keep going on with that process so B minor one two so I'm starting on the A so I'm looking for an A on the G string or the bit of whatever key I'm playing it in so in G a D on the G string And I'm thinking that if I can play it in lots of different keys, I can keep that momentum of trying to get this into my vocabulary um, and making it feel more natural. One, two, three. three. One, two, three. But a really, really cool little lick. Um, I'm not there with it yet. So uh, yeah, it's definitely a very tricky one and uh, the gold tempo, if you're counting it like that, would be 
204 BPM, in which case this is really, really quite a task for your right hand. The way that Eric is angling his pick generally, I think, is downward slanted and also sort of at a 45 degree angle. Um, I think that's part of how he manages to get these pentatonics really fast. Um, I hope that's sort of interesting, something to work on that's not boring. Um, it's going to take some time for me to get this anywhere near speed, I think. Uh, I hope that's worth sharing. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.